Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Ronan and welcome to another video. If this is your first time viewing this channel, welcome to the channel as well. And today, as you can see behind me, this is my setup and it's about to change a lot actually. Like a lot, a lot. My needs are more and more increasing on display and desk space. A couple things that really really made my mind about changing my desk and my setup all together because I get a little piece of hair. Anyways, what really changed my mind is the color. I mean, it's like the paint that I got from a kit that I did really, really long ago. And it's just really scratched up and everything. The paint doesn't even go all the way to the back, which, what? <laughs> like, Maybe like a quarter of the back of the desk is just white with no paint. And the front of the desk is just black that is just really, really badly painted on onto the desk and scratched up because of my mouse. So that's one of the reasons. Another one is the shelf that my monitor is on. Really, really not trust that shelf. Because the right side is screwed in, both of them, both of them. It not coming out of the wall, but the left side, there's a little bit, like you can feel a gap in between the wall and sand thing. Really not good, especially holding the monitor and everything else that I have up there as well. With all those being said, that's the real reasons why I wanted to change the desk. So, let's change it up. So I hope you like time lapses because there will be a fair amount of those in this video. First, I need to take everything out of the room and clean up the rug and just clean up some. I also want to mention that there will be three episodes of the Death Series. Congrats, you're watching the first one now. But the next one is going to be about cable managing and teaching you how to cable manage your desk with whatever amount of cables you have. I'm just going to be using mine. And the final one is the tour of the setup, so stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss those videos. So as you can see here, the, the Alex drawers are pretty easy to assemble, if you read the instructions that is. Make sure you read those instructions because as you're about to see here, the actual drawers, I put the screws in the wrong way. They don't go the outside in, they go in then outside. And the reason why they do is they wouldn't close all the way because the screws were getting stuck on the side. So yeah, read those instructions so you don't mess up like I did.
And as you can see here, the Karabu countertop is extremely sturdy. This is me sitting on it and I'm about to stand on it. And it did not flex whatsoever. And I do weigh like around 145 pounds. So yeah, very extremely sturdy. I extremely trust this. And the reason why I didn't put the desk like against the wall, but like the hypotenuse of the corner is because it wouldn't fit on the wall where my desk was previously. Plus now I can put my camera behind my desk as well as my microphone and my lights. So in the end it works out. And now as you can see here, I first tried to put the monitor arm in the center next to the bottom monitor stand. So it kind of just lines up and everything is symmetrical, but I wasn't able to make the second monitor sit flush with the bottom monitor, like directly in the center. So I had to just push it to the right as you're about to see, so I can get the monitor directly in the center of the bottom monitor which is directly in the center of the desk. And this is just me testing out different mic positions. In the end, I just got a different mic stand since I wasn't able to reach it up and over the uh, 34 inch ultra wide on the bottom, the bottom monitor. And it was too much of a hassle bringing it in front of the other Alex drawer on the left side since it wouldn't reach that far to get in front of my mouth. Okay, so right now, as you can kind of see, the top display is working, the bottom one, not so much. So first, what I'm trying to do right now is actually very difficult for some reason, but I am trying to revert, because right now, this monitor is upside down, so I'm just trying to put that to, Flip it, boom, we're good, we're golden. And now I need to figure out why this monitor is not working, because I have no clue why. It's not detecting it. Let's see here. Yes, it does. Okay, so literally all I did was go behind the desk and just wiggle the cable, so. Not really sure how that worked, but it did nonetheless, so that is incredible. Okay, now I need to go 
back into the settings because yeah right now it's I think it's left and right so display settings okay go back there now and boom apply and just like that we are golden yes Whew. That is incredible. Okay. And yeah. I need to get headphones in here. And everything should be working as planned. I just need to figure out something to do with the cables and put my salt lamp there as well. Okay, so now that I got it basically finished, I think the only thing left to do with it now is to really just bring the chair in and yeah, see how it looks. I'm quite excited for this, not gonna lie. Let's get that started. Okay, so this part of the video I'm actually recording with my phone. I'm still kind of setting up as I have this box and a bunch of cables and everything here. But I just wanted to record this part because my camera right here, that is going to be like whenever I'm on Zoom doing uh, video conferences or just meeting with those people or since I start school in like a couple weeks here, I'm going to be using that as my main camera for like webcams and things. I just wanted to show you camera and now onto camera's perspective. So this is what the webcam, well, my my camera, my, my Canon T7i. This is what it looks like when I'm at the computer. You can kind of see here, uh, oh, uh, right there, the displays, which, I'm, uh, which I, I mean, I kind of like, but eh. <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, so this is what I'm going to be using for webcams. I might actually be using this, this camera spot as like an actual like camera perspective. So I can have multiple different angles, have one there, we'll have like a backdrop behind me, whatever it may be at some point, I'll probably add one in the future. And then have the camera behind me looking at the setup itself. I think that will look incredible. Like me just looking at my at, at my computer is just like this, Whew. and then if I need to, I can just drag in the mic and boom. See, perfect, seamless. I like it. Okay, so the desk is now finally all put together. Everything is roughly roughly where I want them to be. I might change. I might change a couple of things around. In one of the next upcoming videos, we will be looking at the cable management because it is terrible. But stay tuned for that. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to help you with your cable management so you don't have to look at those disgusting, disgusting cables in your sub no more. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you don't miss it. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.